Hi, good morning everybody. Um, I just wanted to come to share a dream that I had back um, in July. It was either on the 20, somewhere between July 26th through the 28th. And in the dream, and I'm sharing the dream because I just want to know if anybody has a, any uh, interpretation of the dream or if God will speak to you regarding it, please feel free to share your interpretation or anything that God may give you regarding it. Okay, so in the dream, myself and my son were on a ship, um, and the, the type of ship we were on was not like any modern day ship that we know of today. It was very, very large. Um, we, I was standing on the top of this, the, this ship, and I was standing all the way at the tip, and something told me to lift my eyes up and look out towards the horizon in the sky, so as I did that, there appeared just the heads only of Tyrannosaurus rex dinosaurs going across the horizon. And they were in a horizontal formation going across the sky. And what struck me is there was no body, the size of the heads were very large, and they were all black. Now, we've seen pictures of dinosaurs on TV, books, magazines, etc. And I've never seen any that were black, but these were completely black. And I just knew that I had to get out of there and get off the top of that ship. So I grabbed my son and I started to run back into the ship on the first floor. And the first floor, everything was very grand, grand, you know, and um, stately. The rooms were exquisite. Um, I tell this was the floor where everyone had money. So there was a crowd, wasn't a lot of people like you would normally see on the cruise ships like Carnival and Royal Caribbean. Um, and people were just walking around and I didn't say anything. It was just like I was in such shock. I was just trying to find safety. So I pushed the door open to one of the rooms and instead of it being a bedroom, it was like a huge dark theater. And it was so huge in the dream. I said to myself, my gosh, something this huge was behind this door so I closed the door and for some reason I just didn't decide to stay there something just was compelling me to go away from the crowd and head like down to the next level so as I'm going down to the next level everything on that level was completely different it was the rooms were I can't even explain what I was really seeing. It was like the boiler room, like you were in a basement. I mean, you're seeing pipes and boilers and engines. And I'm like, what in the world? What a big contrast from the first floor to down here. So I just felt like that was where I needed to be. And I'm just trying to find a room. And as I looked up, um, some of the people were now figuring out that something was wrong so it was just like I'm seeing the stairwell where people are just going up and down trying to figure out where they should go so I grabbed my son and I just wanted to cover his mouth because he was making noise and for some reason I sensed that these heads of these dinosaurs could sense just by hearing where you were and when I looked up one of the heads was at the window of the ship and as soon as I saw the head the the dream literally started all over again. I was back at the top part of the ship, back at the front portion of the, the ship, and something compelled me to look up at the horizon when I did. And like I said, every single detail of the dream repeated again. These heads of these dinosaurs, ty ty Tyrannosaurus Rex, were in the horizon of the sky, hovering in the sky, headed towards this huge ship that we were on. And my mom asked me how many heads of the dinosaurs that I saw. I don't know, I wasn't counting, but I do know that it was less than 20, less than 15. It was definitely more than five. So I don't, like I said, I don't really know. They were black and they were headed towards the ship. Again, I turned, grabbed my son, um, went down into the first level of the ship, the top level. Everything was very grand, stately. People that I met on the stairwell were just, you know, um, running and didn't really know what to do. 
and I went down, saw the same pipes, this boiler room and all of that. The head of the dinosaur appeared at the window and the dream again. Now we're at the third time that this dream is starting all over again. The same identical details happen again the third time. So at the end of the third time of this dream repeating itself, that's when I woke up. Woke up and I'm just like, wow, what kind of dream was that? But I, I kind of like tucked it away, but I'm like, I'm tucking it away to take it to God in prayer because I'm like, for this thing to have repeated itself three times, it, it, it definitely has some type of meaning. What? I don't know. So what I did was I had to go out to the store that day. So my husband and I were out in Walmart and we were picking up um, some school snacks for my son. And he's never eaten the little fruit snacks, um, the whole gummy issue thing. And at the time, he was I'm afraid he was going to choke on it. So I said, well, you know what? He's older. Let me just buy a box of these things. So my I told my husband to grab a box. And when he picks the box up, he says to me, is this what you saw in your dream last night? So I'm going to... I took a shot of it on my cell phone and I'm gonna just try to hope this picks it up but this was on the box of the fruit roll-ups and this is what I saw in the dream minus the body it was the head and in the dream it was dark they were I mean they were black and um, I just I was just shocked because I'm like Oh my gosh, like I just had this dream last night and this is on the box of fruit roll-ups. You got to be kidding me. So anyway, um, I didn't buy that box because I figured it might scare my son. So <laughs> anyway, um, I get back home. I'm putting up my groceries. So I, before I started doing that, I actually went to check my email. So I pull up the, the news feed pops up first. There was the head of a dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus Rex dinosaur on the news feed. And I wish I would have thought to take a picture of it or capture it, but I, my mouth just dropped open because the headline said, Tyrannos Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the dinosaurs. Some new tooth discovery that they found. Let me see if I could try to pull up... Um, and this is one of the captions that it said here, T-Rex bite much worse than previously thought. So that stood out to me as well as Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the dinosaurs. So that was um, one of the things, two of the things that stood out was Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the dinosaurs, the picture of the head of the dinosaur that was on the actual news clip, and that it said that the, um, the teeth were new tooth discovery found serrated teeth um, more ferocious than what we previously thought so I'm just keeping that in mind going along with the theme of the dream that I had so later on that day I was in the kitchen cooking and I decided to pull up my YouTube page and just some of the subscribers that I'm subscribed to their um, videos pop into my current news feed this was the first video that popped into my news feed. And I'm going to try, let's see, to, I want to capture how her video starts off. Or is it the end? Okay, no. Let me just try to go back. Okay, her name is Kingdom, bear with me guys, Kingdom Living. 771 and as you can see the date uh let's see if it'll show it yeah her video was published oh get in focus july 28th and that is exactly uh the day the morning of whatever you want to call it that i had my dream but what i want to show you is the picture of how her video um starts so let me go to her videos just to sh it's important why I'm doing this guys so just bear with me a minute um, okay I'm gonna try to blow my screen up so that you can see what I saw this was her video of the same day that I had my dream this is what I saw in my dream in the sky 
but instead of it being horses it was the heads of T-Rex and you see how the horses that she's showing in her video is going straight across the horizon and they're all in a horizontal formation that's exactly what I saw in my dream only it was the heads of these Tyrannosaurus Rex going across the sky and you see how here in the picture her the horsemen are all in dark they're all black that's exactly the color of the heads of these T-Rexes that were in my dream so that's what struck me as odd um, and her dream was with these dark riders and Isis coming across the sky so if you get a moment please go to her channel and check out um, the dream that she had and um, yeah so that that was just like okay God you must be speaking <laughs> something to me about this dream so after I finished watching her video the very next video that I clicked on let me pull that one up for you too was this another sister check out her videos um, called sounding the alarm 100 the same exact date let me scroll down so you can see July 28th her title was have you dreamt of destruction coming to the USA so I clicked on her video do you know what she was talking about in her video was the Titanic ship so as she's showing pictures in her video of a documentary that she watched that aired recently which was probably airing the end of J July pertaining to the new discovery that they found at the Titanic ship at the bottom of the ocean so I'm gonna pull up one of the pictures that I found and um, oh yeah here's one of the heads just to give you an idea of what I saw just nobody just the head across the sky here it is this is at the bottom of the ocean when she posted her video and it was actual video that she was showing of this at the bottom of the ocean my heart just like skipped a beat because this is the ship that I was on in the dream I didn't know what I was on remember when I said it didn't look like anything modern that I would recognize couldn't understand what I was on but when I saw her video this is the ship that we were on I was on the Titanic and I was standing right there at the tip when something told me to lift my eyes up and look at the horizon so I found that to be very odd that this video documentary would be on TV. She would see it and make a video about it pertaining to destruction coming to the United States. So I went and Googled Titanic. And I just want to read to you what, what I found is <clears throat> one of the first things that popped up. It says, just as the Titanic was the greatest ship of its time. America is the greatest country of our time. Yet, just as the captain of the Titanic was too arrogant and too egotistical to understand that the Titanic was headed for disaster, so too the captains of America refused to change course when confronted with the greatest iceberg of all time in the form of wholesale environmental destruction. How evil, how corrupt, how stupid, how arrogant. The captains of America have been forewarned of disaster. See disaster straight ahead in a collision course, yet steered directly toward the ultimate destruction of our freedom, our democracy, our quality of life, and the future of all humankind. Greed begets greed. Evil begets evil. Corruption begets corruption. Ignorance begets ignorance and hubris begets hubris. Every person who cares about America, who cares about God, who cares about the future of their children and their children's children must rebuke the foolish ways of the captains of America and cause them to change course before it's too late. Titanic America is sponsored by George H. Russell. Now I find the words of this um, posting very profound how evil how corrupt how stupid how arrogant how arrogant how egotistical the captains of our nation are heading and steering us straight for 
the iceberg. Hate, straight for um, destruction. Um, we are, as a nation, as everyone well knows full and well by now, how far we have fallen as a nation, how far, far we have fallen from the Word of God, the things of God, the instruction of God, the fear of God. We don't possess any of those things anymore as a nation. We too, like the Titanic, feel as though we are all powerful, we are unsinkable, we are indestructible. We too, just like the Titanic, driven by greed, driven by prestige, driven by the captain of the ship who thinks he is all-knowing and all-powerful and that he is indestructible, he is untouchable. But woe unto those leaders who think that they are God, who think that they are all-knowing and all-powerful and that you are unstoppable and unsinkable. Woe unto those leaders who have no fear of God. Woe unto this nation who has lost the fear of the Lord. Woe unto the nation who mocks God. Who thinks that God will not judge her. Who thinks that she is indestructible in her prideful acts, in her sinful behavior, in her greed, in her prestige in her shine, and in her glory, thinks that God is not coming to judge her. Who thinks that God won't be mocked anymore? Who laughs at the prophets? Who relishes in her sin and parades her sin as if it is something to be proud of? As if it is something that she should boast and want to pass down to the next generation. We should be ashamed of our sin. We should be ashamed of what we have done. We should be ashamed of how we have grieved the heart of God. We have not shed any tears over our sin, over our pride, over our arrogance, over our lack of concern. But we are just going out as business as usual. And we are headed, we are headed for great destruction. We are headed for a great fall. And I don't even understand why I'm crying, but I know it's the Holy Spirit grieving and crying. Because we don't have any idea of what's coming. We don't have any idea of the souls that are going straight to hell. And it's so sad because we have been warned. We have grieved the heart of God. We have not repented. We have not even taken heed to the voices. The voices, the voices of Jonathan Kahn that have come to our capital, to the prayer breakfasts for the past three years. But yet every time he has come to bring warning, our government, our president has stood up in defiance and passed laws that have gone against the very word of God, the very heart of God. We have stood up in defiance. We have defied God straight to his face. And all I can say is woe, woe, woe to this nation. So I'm just asking you if you have any interpretation of the dream, please feel free to share it. And all I can say is just pray for God's mercy for those who will hear, for those whose hearts that have not been hardened, pray for the souls to come in while there is still yet a short space and a short window before all hell breaks loose. God bless you guys.